The Kings look to halt a three-game skid against the 21-10 Hawks. Not likely going up against Trey Young, and De'Aaron Fox would need a wonderful night to keep them in it. Could he deliver? First quarter highlights, first bucket is a dish inside for a Clint Capella dunk. The Kings answer with a mid-ranger by Klinkstein, aided by a screen, but Clint Capella makes not just one paint bucket, but another one for the first six Hawks points. In transition, Trey Young involved with an easy lay-in, and later it's Young with a drive on Fox and makes him look absolutely silly for the score. Klinkstein answers with a leaner, which is good for mid-range, and the first three of the game comes from guess who? Trey Young with a step back three, dust your shoulders off. Kings answer again. It's a three from Davian Mitchell off the Klinkstein feed. And into the second quarter we go. It's De'Aaron Fox who nails a corner three, and then he pops in a leaner for two and the tie game. Off of a jump ball, Sabonis just hoists one, drains a three ball. The Hawks kept inching a lead while the Kings kept staying alive. Mitchell for three. Randolph posterizes Trey Young, but then it was Young later on with a three ball near during halftime, give the Hawks a lead going into the break. Klinkstein dish to Keegan Murray. What a catch and shoot guy he is. Bang! Trey Young hit ridiculous threes like this one. Wow! And made a pass here and there like this one. Oh my! And he had the Hawks with a more sizable lead heading into the fourth quarter. That was where DeAndre Hunter hit a nice mid-ranger to get the Hawks over 100 points, and Fox did all he could to keep the Kings fighting, but ultimately it's a 116-103 win for the Hawks on the road with 28 points, 10 dishes from Young. DeJounte Murray added 20 points, 15 assists of his own. Fox did put up 26, but with only six dishes, and Sabonis had 18 with seven rebounds. After the loss is a trip to Toronto to take another loss, 127-132 to the Raptors. Gary Trent Jr. had 31 points, and Kelly Oubre Jr. had 27. For the Kings, it was Keegan Murray with 22 and 12 boards, while Fox had an 18-7-7 stat line. That loss gave us some decent news as Middleton would return to give us our star-powered lineup back. Could he help us to a hot streak? First, I'd like to take this time to thank our channel members. Thank you for keeping the dream alive, and especially thank you to the franchise QBs, t Clink 24 Christian Horn, Colby Gaynor, Rigoberto Ramirez, and Troy Gordon, as well as our only general manager, Matthew Hackett. Channel members do get automatic players in every series, so consider hitting the join button below this video if you'd like to support some more. Kings visit the Bulls in a battle of teams on the struggle bus. De'Aaron Fox did not outplay Trey Young. Can he outplay Lonzo Ball? Let's see. First quarter we go, and it's a good start with the dish inside to Sabonis for the first bucket. DeMar DeRozan, no one on him. Stop, pop, and good. The Bulls' other star, Zach Levine, deep two is good. Check out this Sabonis awkward turnaround, Jay, but what a shot. What can I say? Sabonis was hot. Another bucket inside off of Klinkstein's assist. Welcome back, Middleton with a three ball, which was knocked down, and a big triple jack up by Ayo Donsumo to answer and keep the game in single digits. Ayo then hit another nice three, nearing the end of the quarter to take the game into the second competitive. Aaron Fox has a pretty take to double up the Bulls, but ex-king Malik Monk gets open in the corner and nails the three ball to get it to 10. Then it's Williams for a triple himself to get the game to halftime at single digits. Almost midway through the third, it's Keegan Murray for a three to extend a Kings lead to 15. To end the quarter, it's a big pass inside to Dermot Nanko, who gets a bank shot and the lead is 16 heading into the final quarter. In transition, Keegan Murray takes the lead above 15 with a nice bucket. Seth Curry sighting as he nails a three for the Bulls, trying to spark something in the building, but it's Keegan Murray again receiving a wild pass from Middleton under the bucket for the open three ball as the Kings would go on to win by 27. By a score of 89-62 behind 19, 7, and 6 from Fox, and Sabonis dropping 14 with 15 boards. Rosen dropped 21 for the Bulls with 9 boards, and Io dropped 11 points as the number two scorer. That win did spark something as the Kings won 136-129 in Philly with Dermanenko having a 23-point 
12.7 board night, and Fox dropping 21. Joel Embiid had 36 with 11 boards, and James Harden had 26 with 11 assists. The bench was just not as effective as Sacramento's. Unfortunately, though, during the Sixers game, Harry Klingstein twisted his knee, and he's going to be out for one to two weeks. With no Klingstein, the Kings still won at Madison Square Garden over the Knicks, 113-108, with Chris Middleton's 23.7 boards and six assists leading the way. Fox did add 21, and RJ Barrett led the Knicks with 21, and Julius Randle dropped 20 with eight rebounds. But some more bad news. Aiden Dermanenko was injured during the game with a twisted ankle taking him out for one to two weeks. However, Klinkstein somehow found a way to get back into the lineup way too early, and Jamal D'Angelo is also returning from his injury. So it is Kamani Cooper who will be the last man off the bench for a little while, still dealing with some injuries here in Sacramento. A 105-109 loss in Detroit where Cade Cunningham put up 23-6-7 to the best the Kings could do, Sabonis, who had a triple-double with 12 points, 14 boards, and 10 assists to keep the Kings in it. Then it was a 102-105 loss back home against the Wizards, where Fox and Middleton could only muster 16 and 15. Kyle Kuzma led the Wiz with 22 and 7 boards. Somehow, at 16 and 23, the Kings are still fighting and clinging on to the 9th seed in the West. They really need to put a run of wins together. Thankfully, they're not in the Eastern Conference, or they seemingly would be the 11 seed right now. Fox leads the team with 21 and a half points a game, but I expected either Middleton or Sabonis to be in the high teens or 20s even, and neither of them are averaging over 15 points. It's kind of killing us. Rookie report, though, Klinkstein sits at six in the top of rookie scoring, and that's a little silver lining. Will Carson Sanders win Rookie of the Year over Duncan or Ramirez Jr.? Should be an interesting race. Our next game is in Portland against a Blazers team that has been on a roll with a hot Dame Lillard. Not to mention Axel Duncan, the number two scoring rookie who nearly averages a double-double per game. This won't be easy for the Kings. Let me know what your predictions are on this game and the season as a whole and watch some more content right here. I love you, FG fan.